besties welcome back to my channel today i'll be teaching you how to track your time if you get a job outside upwork like if a client are you on linkedin on indeed and they want to like pay you hourly you need to learn how to track your time you know outside upwork you know upwork actually have um, a time tracker where you use to track your time but if you get a job outside upwork you need to use another tracker and today i'll be sharing my screen and show you step by step how to use this free time tracker i'm going to be explaining what it means and how to use it to submit invoices and get paid at the end of the week or at the end of the month depends on your agreement with your client and let me explain what the time tracker is if you're a beginner you don't understand a time tracker is a tool that records the exact hours you spend working on a task or project and this is very important when you're working on, a, on an hourly job because you can't just assume like okay eh, my boss said you pay me hourly okay today i only work three hours how did you calculate the hours how did you know that it's three hours that you work because clients want to see the proof of the time you work and a tracker makes it easy to show them it keeps you accountable it's built trust with your clients and it makes billing simple and professional and trust me i'm just going to show you so without so much of our time don't let us waste time let's dive right into it So the first thing you want to do is to come to your browser and search for Clockify Tracker. I'm going to be teaching you the way I used it when I got a client outside of work. And I need to track my time and also get paid. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you today. So Clockify, sign up, do whatever you want to do and come here. Now you'll find yourself here, whatever you find yourself here. Now the very first thing you want to do is to come to this client section. When you click on this client section, look, I'm even there already. This is where you had the clients that you are working for. So you had the name of the client. Let's say the name of the client is Miriam. Miriam Schweib. Let's say Miriam Schweib. Then you click on add client. After that, you click on this person icon edit. You put the name, the person's email address, any notes and the currency. You can add it. You might not add it. Whatever. But for me, I added it here for my clients. The next thing you want to do is to go to projects. That is important. What were you hired for? For the sake of this class, let's say customer support. We'll click on create new project. And we might name the project customer support. Then I'll click on select clients. I'll click Miriam Show Up. I'll click on create. Then the next thing that you want to do is to do what is to come to this amount. You see where this amount is, just double click on it. Once you do, I think you come to this access. There is a way to yes, this billable rates. You come to access, then you put the rates that the person wants to pay you per hour. You put it there. So for the sake of this class, let's say $20 per hour. Time entry from today. Uh -huh. Let's assume you've been working for the client now and you want it to be like from last week, you can choose. But for the sake of this class, we'll save from today. Then we'll click on what? We'll click on save. Then after that, we'll now come to this time track. Now, do you know that I have two clients now? I have Terry and I have Miriam. Now, let's assume I want to work for Miriam now. Miriam gave me a task. Let's say Miriam said I should make research on something. So I'm going to say... I'm going to come to this time tracker and it's going to ask me what are you working on today i'm going to say country research then it's going to ask me which project then i'm going to click on the customer support project can you see it automatically bring the name Miriam Shuai. then i'll click on start then if you look at this look at this up oh, look at this place yeah look at my mouse and follow the mouse can you see it's going to start calculating 9 seconds, 10 seconds. So all you have to do is just to start working, doing whatever you want to do, start working, start doing it. Then everything is going to be, you know, now counting here. So once you are done doing whatever you want to do, maybe you are done with the research or whatever, you click on what? Stop. And whenever you want to start working again, you click on Start. Now let's ask me I want to work for Terry now. What am I working on? I can say calendar management. Which project? Remember the project, executive assistant, Terry Larry. And I'll click on start. And you start doing what? It's to start calculating again here once I click on start. Now, if you now want to get paid, how do I do it? 
what I did was I shared the client the report. So what I did was I came to this report and I click on summary. That was what I did. You can choose whatever works for you, detail, weekly, shared, whatever. So now this is the hours that I worked that the tracker calculated like 12 hours, five seconds. And then my rate was $15. So I got paid $181.46. This was able to like calculate my time and the amount that I'm supposed to get paid. So what I did was I click on export, save as PDF, you get. Then you can share the PDF with the client. But if you want to invoice it, then you have to come to these invoices. Like you want to send it to their mail so that they can pay you. So all you have to do is click on create invoice, select client. I'm going to select Terry Larry, USD invoice one, issue dates. I'll say today, then I'll click on create. Then you can add the subjects like payments, whatever, or thank you for your purchase, whatever your subjects can be like payment for the month of September, whatever. Then it's going to ask you import time and expenses. Then you click on import time, select project, executive assistant, don't forget, include billable expenses. So date range. So if, it's, if you work for the person throughout August and this time tracker, like track it, but for me, I only work from Monday till Friday, yes. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to click on import. So it's going to import all the tracker. So can you see? Subtotal is one dollar fifty cents. So all you have to do is do what you can add your like your bank details or whatever where you want them to make the payments. You can add it here. If you have a gray account, or maybe you have a link you get, so you can just do what put all these things here and you scroll up and you click on send invoice so the person will receive the invoice and also receive all the details about how they need to pay you your bank details and everything then they will pay you that is how it works you can either use gray or you go on seller or next child or pay stack create like a section there share the link so they can pay you there or you do wire transfer whatever works for you Sha, when it comes to receiving payment so that is how me you I used Clockify when I got this client. So this was the very first time I ever used Clockify and that was how I used it. So yeah. So that is how you can track your time and send invoices to clients when working outside Upwork because using a time tracker is not optional if you are on hourly pay. It is a must. It is what keeps you organized. Ensure you don't undercharge yourself and show your clients that you are reliable and professional. If this tutorial was helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and share so other virtual assistants can also learn. And let me know in the comment section if you like me to cover more tools like this. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. You're welcome. Bye-bye.